Welcome to Crawdaddy's Custom Crankbait. This morning I'm just gonna paint up a kind of a simple little scheme. It's just kind of fun to paint. I went ahead and primed it white. I just got fluorescent yellow. This is just Cretex fluorescent yellow straight out of the bottle. Another drop in there and just trying to make sure I got a good cover coverage on the yellow. Whenever you're spraying yellow, you always want to make sure you put a base coat of white down first. That way it makes your yellow just pop. Clean this out real quick. I'm gonna go ahead and get me some red mare brush. Now you can do this step, red, blue, green, really whatever color you just, you know, choose to do, you can do it. I'm gonna go ahead and heat set this real quick.
a while ago when I was handling the bait, just messing around with it, trying to put it on this holder. Kind of got a little bit of dirtiness up here. I'm not worried about that for what we're fencing to do with it. It's not that big of a deal. All this is is galls, really. Uh, that's all that is. But all I'm going to do is pull this over, this bait. Trying to get it thicker in some spots. Thinner in others. You can, you can wrap it over. It actually works better if you had string, but I don't have any string. So I'm using this gauze that I got. But all I'm gonna do is get it out of my holder. Trying to come on that edge a little bit. Get a nice even coat. Just pull that gauze off. As I said, if you had regular old string, it works a little bit better and a little easier, but it just gives you that neat looking effect on top. I'm gonna take this red and just come around the eye socket right here. Not that heavy, but. Made a little template. I remember which way it goes on there. Come on. Get this out of my airbrush. I'm not gonna have to clean it too well. drop of black in there.
Well, I don't know what to do with my red eyes. I guess I use these since this is taking me forever. Anyway, that's just a simple little bait that you can do. It's pretty neat, you know, little scheme. Um, when you're doing yellows and stuff and whites, you just got to be real careful because they will get dirty so easy or, you know, anything on your hands, especially if you got it black or anything on your hands, it's going to come off on that yellow. Um, this in here, I'm not really worried too much about it. I just, this is just a bait I was going to do. I'm going to give it to my son. Um, so it's no big deal. It don't have to be perfect. I just wanted to show y'all that little thing that you can do with the galls. Like I said, this is just galls, uh, from a model years. Uh, actually we used that for camo netting, but I just had it it just gives you a neat effect across the top on the sides if you want to go down on the sides. Uh, off camera, we're going to come back, hit that with a little bit of white uh, and touch that up. But it's just mainly uh, showing y'all what you can do. And this shad dot here, my, my uh, paint was a little bit thin and it shot underneath my template. But man, if a fish can tell me that's a little spider web right there, I'm not worried about it. Uh, but anyway, that's what I had for you at Crawl Daddy's this morning, just playing around, trying to do something simple and easy. And I hope y'all enjoyed it, and we'll be seeing you next time on Crawl Daddy's.